absolutely no funny pre bumper in this video this is a very serious video it's a long video it's only and only for those who really want to learn something it's a complete tutorial for beginners who are wanting to learn an amazing free website in dot trading view okay so if you are interested do watch the video till the end and believe me you are going to learn at least 50 new things in this entire video right one more very 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 important point there are so many scammers who are scamming my entire comment section so please be sure that's how my real profile looks like it has a verified tick please check out this verified tick and that's how these scammers profiles look like they don't have a verified tick number 1 they will post such comments which have whatsapp numbers i never ever give my whatsapp number in the comment section so please be aware report such scammers report such fraudsters so that those who are not tech savvy they won't get you know uh, badly affected by such scammers i hope you'll enjoy this video keep watching till the end Hey folks, see you Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to an amazing lecture which is going to be a perfect beginners guide on trading view website. Now what's this website all about? It's about a lot of technical analysis details. It has a lot of charts, it has a lot of indicators, it has a lot of strategies, news and so many more features. So we are going to talk about the entire website in detail one by one absolutely perfectly but very important point. Is this a sponsored video? no we have not taken even 1 rupee from the website i personally love it i personally use it and that's the reason why i thought i should be making a separate video so i hope you enjoy this entire tour on trading view let's start with the very first step which is how to open an account with in dot trading view so for that what you can do is you can check out the link in the description box so that you will be directly redirected to this page or you can also type out this but for simplicity i have given link in description how do you sign up you can sign up using google facebook few other apps like twitter linkedin also i'm using uh, google what you do is just enter your email id credentials all right so this is what uh, this is where we land on trading view home page uh, you can choose your photo your username just hit continue and uh, we are almost done and that's the home page of trading view now what is the next step now we are going to go one by one what all can you see here on the home page what is this editor's pick market summary summary what is this watch list what are these so many symbols everything we are going to do step by step so let's understand how the home page looks like i'm going to show you the actual screen as well but let's visualize this is your in dot trading view home screen okay now how is this divided i can say it's somewhere like this that this part of the screen is like something like social media okay i'll tell you what is this but for your understanding because it looks a bit cluttered uh, so this is mainly for idea sharing okay we are going to discuss about this but like one half of the screen is mostly about social media for idea sharing related to stock markets relating to trading ideas right now what is there on the right hand side right hand side you will get a lot of points like you will get something like a market summary right you will get market summary then you will also get something about brokers you will get something about stocks you will get uh, i can say like timeline or i can also call it as actually news timeline so news okay and this will be like the bottom part of the screen something like a footer okay so this is how the entire uh, trading view portal is going to look like the home page is going to look like now keep this in mind okay if you want you can just take a screenshot of this and then try to correlate with the immediate next part of the video i'm now going to tell you how it actually looks like that's how the website is going to look like okay so okay let me just click on this watch list so that this part of the screen is cleared now all right okay so now the drawing that i made try to compare it with that left entire side was something like social media now what is this editor's pick this is what people are talking about different stocks okay what are the simple indicators then uh, something about bitcoins crypto ideas then you have uh, some other things like forex ideas 
you also have something like stock ideas you have that's what i was talking about stock ideas right plus so many more things you have index ideas da 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 so this entire section you also if you want you also have some educational ideas by the way okay so if you want you can also post here you can also comment on others posts okay so this entire left hand side is about social media kind of a thing okay so now let's jump on to the right hand side of the screen what is it all about so the right hand side of the screen starts with a market summary okay now what do you find in market summary you get to know about a lot of indices now which indices are these only about the firangi indices the us index indices and all that no so if you hit on more indices you can see so many more indices including uh, where is ours yes nifty sensex okay all over the globe you can see a lot of indices so you can also check how the global markets are performing so i think this is a good place to check out how all not only uh, asian markets but the global markets are performing right next to indices you can have a snapshot of how the currencies are performing you have different currencies like euro usd gbp usd and many other more currencies right then you get a summary of futures now are we talking only about index futures no <clears throat> here we are also talking about commodity futures which commodities now let me just click to more commodities and then you will get an idea it's not only about stock commodities you have agricultural commodities you have energy commodities currencies metal commodities and so many more points in fact along with world indices which we just checked right now you also have something like interest rates now you might be wondering what is this interest rate so i'm sure you might have heard uh something like a euro bond future or a euro dollar future so many points are there in this interest rates as well but we are not going to talk about this right now okay so uh let's go back to the home page i hope you have understood where we were we were in futures and inside futures when we went to see more more futures that's where we were right now can we also check out the various cryptocurrencies the latest you know uh, everyone's favorite thing to talk about we also can check about the various cryptocurrencies like bitcoin like ethereum and so many more right last one is bonds i'm sure you might have heard about the us government bonds the euro bond uh, typically how much is the us uh, so the indian government bond the 10 years uh, bill all these points you can check out in this part of the market summary tab right now we can scroll down post market summary you can see the next tab is like brokers but all these brokers if i'm not mistaken are from united states so all those people right who are watching from india this part is useless for us we can't really uh, trade through this website because none of the indian brokers are affiliated with indot trading group i scroll to the next one next one is about stocks in stocks all these are us stocks but if you want to check indian stocks you just have to click on that flag and scroll down here you can click india nsc and that's where we get an idea of which are the most active which were the gainers which were the losers today all the entire list you can see here right so that is about stocks next one is about timelines timelines has some news and so here you can also see the news news are from very trusted sources like reuters right so this is about news section till the end i'm just scrolling down and down and down that's the end okay and that's like the last part of this website right the footer of the website i can say i hope you have understood the entire home page in detail have you properly understood the home page yes fantastic now let's move on let's move on with this part which is the ticker now what is this ticker ticker is nothing but you have to type out the name of the company which you want to do the analysis for so let's take an example of one of the it biggies which is infosys right so i just type out infosys click now once i click here what all do i get to see okay uh, first of all i'll get to see how much is the ltp the last traded price whether it was up down whatever okay market has closed basic points the date today's date everything you will see here okay now you get to see few more points which is overview followed by ideas financials and technicals now what all do you get to see in overview in overview it's just nothing but a general chart that you can see for infosys then if you click on ideas now in ideas you can see what other people think about nifty now you might be wondering how do i get to know what other people think about nifty because again as i told you it's it's more or less like a social media platform so 
इन डॉट ट्रेडिंग व्यू इज लाइक फेसबुक फॉर ट्रेडर्स समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस दिस सेक्शन व्हिच इज आइडिया टॉक्स अबाउट व्हाट अदर्स हैव टू से अबाउट इन्फोसिस देन इफ यू क्लिक द फाइनेंशियल स्टेप यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट an overview about their income their balance sheet earnings cash flow you'll get to see all these points statistics but if you ask me i would not prefer this website for financials we have way better websites for financials like money control like screener.in so i personally love to skip this tab of financials and straight away you can go to technicals now if you go to technicals again you can see as per this website what ideally is is uh, the technical you know uh, as per the technical analysis what is the stand so it says a summary is for buy what is the moving averages what do moving averages indicate right now what do the oscillators indicate see i'm not going to talk about what are moving averages what are oscillators everything about this something like what is a relative stock index what is a moving average everything i've covered in detail in my course on technical analysis what is the thought process of today's lecture it's understanding how to use the website it's not about understanding the meanings of these terms of what is rsi what is macd what is moving averages no for that if you want you can check out the course what we are focusing on right now is how to use the website okay so i personally feel just looking at this i don't think you should be taking a decision right away what you should focus on is understanding the entire chart of this in detail and for that what we will have to do for that we'll have to click this part which is known as the full featured chart once you click on this full featured chart that's where actually the game begins so now that you have understood the basic home page right in fact we started with account opening then we understood the home page then we have understood the ticker and i said the whole main charm starts when you have hit the full featured chart that's where we are right now okay now what we are going to do we are further going to divide this video into five major parts we are going to discuss what all is there in this top panel okay there are so many things which you can see in the top panel right now there are so many things which are then in the right hand side panel we are going to discuss that then we are going to discuss the left hand side panel then we are going to discuss the bottom panel and then what is there in between in the in the main part of the screen that's how we are going to divide this enter video right so let's start one by one we are going to kick start with the top panel let's see the very first thing that you can see here are the three lines uh, what we are going to do we are just going to screen through the most important points we are going to sail through the key points right so what is the main point here if you just check out your own uh, uh, your own username by the way this is just this is just my dummy profile don't follow this profile this is my dummy profile uh, then you can just go to up uh, your profile you can use you can change your picture da 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 whatever you can check out your profile settings you can just go to your accounts and billing so basic features here one nice thing here is that there is something known as a dark color theme and if you you have a toggle here left right okay so uh, either you have a white background or you have a black background i personally love the black background looks soothing to the eyes right so this is about the main features of the three lines let's go to the next point which is the symbol sir so right now we are on infi chart but let's say i want to check out dmart okay so i just click on that i choose dmart if i want some other stock for example uh, let's say airtel i click on that i choose airtel okay is there any shortcut yes so instead of even clicking this if i just directly start typing out so for example i say tcs still i get there i need not even click there okay so these are the main points for the uh, for this small point which is the symbol search let's move on to the next one this d stands for how what is the time frame okay so this is basically you have multiple points like you have the 1 hour time frame you have 2 hours time frame you have one day one week one month okay so for example if i want a weekly time frame here now you can see w instead of d if you want a one month time frame then you can see an m here okay if you if you feel that you look at the one day time frame very oftenly so what you can do you can just click this so now this will be in your favorites so here you can see that d will remain constant now whatever you choose here d remains constant because you have marked that as your favorite right so this is about the time interval let's move on to the next point which is area so in area you can see a lot of points like whether you want a bar chart whether you want a candlestick chart whether you want high kanashi okay but i personally believe that candles are the best and most widely used so you can just select candles from this part okay 
The next one is you can also compare or add symbols. So for example, if you want to compare TCS with Infosys. So what I do is I just put the plus sign. Then I type Infosys. Okay, Infosys. I click here. And then here you can compare TCS with Infosys. How TCS has performed, how Infosys has performed. But then somehow I feel that it can be a bit cluttered if you are comparing two two at one shot. So I personally believe you should just go one by one. If I want to remove Infosys from here, what I do is I just hover around. I just hover around Infosys and I can just click that cross mark. That's removed, okay? So we have understood this plus sign as well. What is the next one? Next one is indicators and strategies. So for example, if you want to check out different indicators and strategies, uh, let us say one of the most favorite indicator of mine, MACD, or I want to put even RSI, okay so i can put up multiple parameters here so now what i can do is i can also you know just adjust the heights so this is the main area of the chart this is the macd this is rsi i can go on adding various indicators here but there are limits for the free version okay now i hope you have understood this now please don't ask me what is macd what is rsi i have again taught these things in my technical analysis course here we are just understanding how to load these indicators how to load these strategies into your trading view website right what is the next one next one is the fundamental uh, uh fundamental matrix for stocks we just discussed about this but again as i told you we are not going to go into this money control screener are way too better than this what is the next one next one is indicator templates now if you want to have moving averages uh into three okay this is just one of it's, it's a three liner uh moving average okay multi uh, and you also want volume okay if you just click this you will get a this as a setting okay so you can have multiple indicators so for example if you choose oscillators this is something which is readily available for you the only thing is you should be able to interpret that okay if you don't want to have such danger things okay can you have your own indicator absolutely yes can you have your own template why not so let me just quickly undo few things undo undo oh wow. i just co covered one more part in this okay now what i can do if i want i can store this i can save this so what do i say save indicator template let's say i put carr i say remember signal uh, symbol remember interval and i say save okay so now what happens is that in the strategy in the templates i have one template saved in my name carr which talks about volume macd rsi okay so whenever i want i can just choose this template once again Moving ahead with the next one. Can I create an alert? Yes. So, for example, right now, TCS closed today at 3, 2, 4, 6. Okay. Now, I want to set an alert. Okay. I click this and I say, if TCS crosses the value of, let us say, just as an example, okay, 3, 3, 0, 0. Okay. Then, give me an alert. Maybe only once. I don't want it every time. I want a notification on my app. Assume I have TradingView website. Uh, on my uh, mobile as well send email uh, webhook url as well that that's okay that's that's your choice uh, even if you don't take that it's absolutely all right just three and then say create okay now what happens is that if you just check this out yes i am covering a small part of the right side panel but that's that says that tc is crossing 3300 that's an active alert right now okay i hope you have understood how to create an alert Let's move on with the next one. Okay, next one is a bar replay. Now, what is this bar replay? Oh, by the way, if I want, I can also delete the alert. Okay, I can also cancel it. Uh, I can also cancel it from here. Just cross it. Do you really want to delete the alert? Yes, alert is gone. Okay, that's how you can create and delete alerts. Moving on with the next one. A bar replay is again a very good one. If you want to check how the stock moved after a specific time frame. So what do you have to do? You have to just click on this. Uh, then have a starting point okay if this is my starting point that's where we go now we want to check how the chart performed how the candles were formed after this time frame and we just keep on watching it is it is just a fun day fun point to watch how how the candles move on if i want i can increase the speed as well that's how the candles can quickly be formed i can so this is basically like a back testing Okay, uh, if I feel that, okay, at this point, let me see if there is an MACD crossover, then how the candles have performed and all that. I just put a bar replay, select the point, 
and just watch the fun how it is performing okay it's absolutely an amazing feature if you're teaching technical analysis okay you can really build up interest up with this feature okay let's say i want to stop this okay uh, uh you are in a chart mode do you want to exit this yes okay i hope you have understood what is this replay i uh, replay all about right then this is undo and redo we just did the same now what is this this is a select a layout so if you want to in one window horizontally vertically uh, the only thing is that if i select this it says you need a bigger monitor okay but here you require a paid plan okay so we are not going to discuss about this right now let's let's keep this aside if you want you can also name this you can also uh, save this uh, entire chart layout but that's not like that an interesting uh, feature or not really important okay so these are the most important points from the top panel okay so moving on with last two three small small points in the top panel you have uh, a settings wheel this is nothing really important from technical analysis perspective this just talks about uh, the aesthetics part how the grid line should appear how the horizontal grid line should appear what colors you want to use uh, if you want something other than green and red nothing nothing serious so i'm, I'm not going to waste time in this this point is about the full screen mode okay so you can see you can get a better view of the entire chart if you want to exit the full screen mode you just have to hit escape right if you want to take a snapshot of this entire chart what you can do is just click on this and it takes a snapshot uh, snapshot of your screen right and you can also save this as an image and if you want you can also publish this to your trading view account so i hope you have understood this how to actually use the entire top panel of trading view website all right top panel clear let's move on with the right side panel now this is nothing but a watch list which is which is already there okay the moment you create an account this basic watch list is there uh, in your profile what you can do if you want to add any specific symbol to the watch list you can so for example uh, let's say i want to add uh, what jubilant food works all right so i just click it and that's where it gets added okay you can add multiple uh, symbols whatever whatever companies you want you can add here that's not a big deal okay what you can also do is that you can also check out the watch lists here okay uh, if you want you can create your new watch list also but how to do that i'm going to show that in the next part of the video right you have three dots here wherein you can rename the watch list you can import list export list clear list but again that i'm going to tell in the next part of the video wait till the next part starts very interesting things coming up then what do you see next one is alerts okay have i already talked about alerts yes then how to set alerts rather than this what you can do is just hover around the price wherever you want to set an alert okay you can see a plus sign here you can just click on that it says add alert possibility number 2 hover around the chart right right click and say add alert okay these are the various ways in which you can add alert plus you can also add it from here as well what is the next one next one is the news so uh, right now we are on the nifty 50 chart so you can see all the news about nifty 50 okay and again as i mentioned it's uh, these are all news about, from reuters so again very good uh, absolutely authentic source right next one is your data window data window is nothing but this one what do you see here okay you see what is the open of nifty today what is the high low close how much is the change see everything you can see here then what is this nifty 1m nse it's nifty it's a one month candle and plus it's the nse nse bse here it is national stock exchange you can also see the val volume macd histogram da 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 whatever rsi how much everything you can see in the data window right next one is hot list so hot list is nothing but which are the top gainers which are the uh, volume volume gainers price gainers price losers uh, all these are the by default it's us exchange but if you want you can also change it to indian exchanges as well okay so i'm just clicking on usa i scroll down if i want i can choose india as well okay so if you choose india let's say i'm choosing volume gainers see now you get to see all our indian stocks like idea pnb tata power da 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 whatever these are volume gainers okay not the price gainers for the day that's how you can flip between different countries as well next one is the calendar okay so here you can see the earnings calendar but this earnings calendar is for what again the default is usa if you want you can again change it to india so if you want to see which companies are going to announce their earnings in the coming few days in the coming few weeks you can check it out here or there is also one more way you can check out my telegram channel and that's where you will get an a weekly update on which companies are going to 
announce their results in the in this week and also in the subsequent weeks we're going to post that on our telegram channel right next one is my ideas if i want to uh, you know publish my ideas if you remember i've told you so many times it's like a social media platform so if i want i can publish my ideas here i can chat here with other people so this is like a public chat next one is like any private messages like a dm okay like we call on insta then you also have certain notifications then here we have a beta version wherein it, it calls it as streams beta so maybe they're coming up with uh, they're also going to popularize the video format maybe that's their intention okay you also get some notifications i have no notifications here next one is i can connect this to a broker directly but unfortunately you can't connect zero the abstracts none of these it's none of the indian brokers are basically connected here if you are from the united states you can connect few united state broker to this website but not relevant for india right next one is you can check the market depth uh, if you want the next one is like an object tree this talks about which symbol again it's this part of the screen right uh, which symbol are we talking about what is the volume macd rsi whatever we can see here comes up in the object tree and the last one is a question mark which says how can i help it talks about billing financial screener pine script trading so many more so its last point is about the help section so i hope you have understood the entire right hand side panel of trading view mere do anmol ratan ek hai ram aur ek lakhan ek hai free version and one is paid version okay so i thought this is the best way to compare how free version works how paid version works okay so even if you are planning to take a paid version you should be an informed person that's what we are trying to do in the easiest manner okay i'm going to tell you top 7 reasons why paid version sometimes sounds way better than the free version number 1 if you check out the time interval so for example here we have d okay d is day so for example if i were to choose 15 minutes can i choose 15 minutes yes simpler way can be just by typing out for example 30 i get a 30 minute interval but if i want something odd let's say 25 minutes interval and if i press okay then it says no you'll have to have a paid plan for this so this is my paid plan so for example i have already put up a 25 minutes chart but let's say i want something odd again a 35 minutes chart i can get that okay so that's one feature uh, i have already a paid version of trading view you can also put odd figures here that's a 40 minutes candle right i hope you have understood this the second one is how many indicators you can have okay so for example right now on this chart you have a bollinger band you have macd you have rsi now assume that you also want to have a pivot point here so pivot point standard you choose this okay and assume that you want to go ahead with the pivot point standard so again it says more indicators not possible right now your plan is only three indicators limit if you check on my version which i already have a paid plan this i have a pivot point also so how many i do have i have a pivot point i have a uh, macd i have rsi and if i want i can also add bollinger bands so just give me one minute i can add bollinger bands as well sorry so bollinger bands okay so that's the fourth one that i added on my list okay so is that possible with a paid plan it is right let's move on with the next one next one is about templates so if you go here to templates uh, one template i've already saved here but now assume that i want to also save this template which does not have a bollinger band it only has rsi and macd so i want this template to be saved in my name let us say so i say rr okay and remember symbol remember interval and i say save it says only one at a time but if i go to the paid version now if i were to save any template okay so for example now this one has four pivot bollinger band macd rsi four so i just want to save this pivot bollinger band okay i, I already have this so assume i don't want pivot okay i only want bb uh, macd rsi i just go to indicator template i say save indicator template i name it rr remember symbol remember interval save done okay so that's where i can choose whether i want a yt whether i want rr whatever you can have multiple templates here right so that's about the template points now let's go to the alerts okay do i have any existing alert here okay i have a bharti airtel alert if it crosses 500 now i want to i want to add one more alert okay one more alert at let us say 575 level and i say okay add alert 
okay add alert uh -uh. it says again only right now your plan has only one alert limit but if i go to my chart and do i have any alerts right now okay see i already have nifty dmart britannia hdfc mc hero Motor, da, 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 so many alerts okay so that's again one more benefit if you have let's say 10 stocks in your portfolio and if you want to have alerts for all 10 stocks that's also possible okay but Again, there are limits for paid versions as well. I'll give you one example of that in the next version. So let's say I'm going to talk about this one, which is the layout. So right now I'm on a full screen layout. So for example, if I want to compare two stocks right now, side by side, can I have this in the free version? No, I will show you in my paid version if I go ahead with a split screen. So for example, left hand side, I have Airtel, right hand side, I have HDFC AMC. I can of course zoom out. That's, that's easily possible. But if I were to have four at a time, okay, so for example, four, now it says you will have to upgrade. So if I were to go to upgrade now, I just say, okay, upgrade. And now it will show you what is the basic plan, pro plan, pro plus, premium, whatever, okay. So based on your expertise, you can choose any of these paid or free plans. <coughs> As I mentioned, link for opening a free or a paid account, it's there in the description box, right. So moving on, that was about uh, the next point, which was about the layout. One more point, if you remember, we talked about the replay point. Okay, so for replay, uh, if you want to do an intraday chart ka replay, that is possible only in what? It's possible only in the paid plan. For a day, for a normal daily kind of a, a chart, a replay is possible in a free version as well, right? One last amazing part of the paid plan, I'll show you quickly. So if you were to go here in the watch list, if you want to create your own watch list, if you just click here, create, it says you can't create your own watch list here in the free plan. If you have a paid plan, I'll show you my uh, version. So for example, if I want to create a watch list, and if I say C-A-R-R, -R, and if I say save, okay, I have a special watch list of mine now. I can go on adding symbols, whatever stocks I want. I can just click here and I can add whatever stocks I want, number one. Number two, if I were to have an entire Nifty ka watch list. So for example, if you see here, I have Nifty data watch list all nifty stocks if i want i have nifty next 50 watch list you might be wondering how did i add did i add 100 symbols one by one tuck tuck add 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 no for that what is the simplest version to do you can download a csv so for that you go to nsc india website go to nsc there if you go to the nsc you will have an option of downloading csv once you download csv here you go and then click on these three dots and then you have an option of import list, okay? There you can just import from that CSV and then say open, you're done, entire list is ready here. But if I go to the free version, if I click on these three dots, if I click on import list, it says, duh, it's available only for the paid version. Wait, where will you get that CSV? If you want, again, you can bank on me. I have the CSV in the description box for Nifty Data, Nifty 50, and also bank nifty okay all these three csvs you will find in my description box what you have to do just open that csv then make a copy of that okay save as make a copy of that in your own desktop in your own laptop and then import it right here okay don't ask for access permissions i've already given you access permissions so step number one make a copy of that on your own laptop on your own desktop and then import it in your own watch list I hope you have understood that paid version does have benefits as compared to the free version. All right, now let's start with the left panel. The very first tool here you can see is something like a cursor. So if you want, you can have a dot which hovers around. If you want, you can have a cross which hovers around, right? Or if you want, you can have an arrow which hovers around. Nothing really important to be very honest. Let's move on with the second tool now, which is more about drawing trend lines and drawing horizontal lines, etc. Okay, so if I were to draw a trend line, what I can do is there's one thumb rule, obviously, that you ideally should touch the body of the candle, not the wick of the candle. Okay, so it can help us understand what are the support or the resistance levels. So, of course, we have to fine tune that. I've just drawn it right now. Uh, let me just fine tune it for you. All right. So if you see here, I have tried to join as many bodies of the candle. So one, two, three, four, and fifth time today it was about to touch. So this is where 
there's one more big support it's around 14150 to 14200 range so what did this help me to understand if nifty had broken below this level it could have been a further fall so that is how you can draw a trend line shortcut is alt t okay so other than trend line what can you draw you can also draw a horizontal line okay so it's alt h so i'll just show you how to draw a horizontal line you just have to place it and that's like a horizontal line okay so let me also show you again uh, if i were to place a horizontal line here i just take the cursor here i hit alt h that's where the horizontal line is right one more thing if you want you can also have a parallel channel okay i'll show you one different chart i'm on the same chart of uh, nifty let me show you again airtel okay so if i were to draw a parallel chart for airtel okay here i have a kind of a parallel chart okay so there was kind of a consolidation here how do i draw it i just click parallel channel okay left click release the left click just extend it okay and click one more time so here you can see that this chart this stock has spent a lot of time in the same price range so it tells us the channel okay within which the stock has spent quite some time okay so i hope you have understood what's a parallel channel let's move on with the next one the next one has again so many points but generally the most important which i i have talked about so many times on my channel is the fibonacci retracement so generally i suggest that you should have a, a good time frame for this so anyways if i'm just taking like a 6 months time frame right now uh, the stock is in the upward trend so i'm just the uh, shortcut is alt f what i'm trying to do is again join the lowest point to the highest point all right so that's how you can actually draw a fibonacci okay so i have again told this in many of my previous videos as well so i hope you have understood how fibonacci is to be drawn moving on to the next one which is drawing uh, tools for example i can have a brush here so if i want to show how the uptrend started from your i can show it like this okay this is how so this is basically a teaching tool if i want to show how there was a consolidation here it's a free flowing brush okay that's how i can draw it if i want i can also delete this okay i hope you have understood the brush tool now i can also have a highlighting tool so if i want to highlight let's say this consolidation okay that's how there was a consolidation right so again if you want you can delete this as well okay so let's move on to the, to the next one which is path so what is this path now so if i want to tell anyone that okay here it was in a consolidation phase and then it moved down and then it moved up so basically i'm just trying to understand how it was moving again nothing special here if you want to just understand how the stock was moving that's how the path shows us so if i want to remove this again i can hit this or if you can see at the end there is a dustbin right here i can also click this and the drawings will be gone right now if i want to have certain text so for example if i want to tell myself that rachna if airtel stock goes below let us say this level okay just as an example okay if it goes below this level i can al also put an alert but as you may have the free version and i want to write a note for myself what do i write here and if i just say t okay sorry this text and i'll write here what do i add mm, buy at support and let's say i write here 25 quantity so i don't i don't have to think what is to be done okay that's where i can place the text okay becomes comparatively easy right so i can this is one of the most important points which i thought is there in this next data point what happens next next is you have again a lot of patterns here okay i'm bored of bharti airtel let me take you to some other stock now maruti okay i am just going to maruti again and assume i choose the head and shoulder pattern now if i want to teach someone how how does the head and shoulder pattern work again i'm just clicking here click 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 okay now that is how you can see a head and shoulder pattern it shows left shoulder head right shoulder it also shows the neck line here if broken what can happen it can go down further again if you want to know more about head and shoulders i have covered it in my technical analysis course right now i'm just showing you how to draw a head and shoulder pattern right 
all right i'm sure uh, you have understood this head and shoulder let's not go on to few more details here there are so many tools right moving on to the next tool here you can have different different positions okay chalo let me again go back to airtel i can show you how you can take a position uh i'll also revise one or two points quickly bharti airtel i go here i just delete the stuff okay so if you remember we had drawn a fibonacci from this level to this level okay now if i want to decide that if i want to take a buy position at the current level then what how much is my downside ideally my downside is up to 500 and my upside is ideally around 568 almost 70 so what is my risk to reward ratio if i want to check that i will just press here long position i click here and my stop loss will be this fibonacci support and my long position will be this target now if you see here my risk to reward ratio with this stop loss and with this target price is 2.42 generally it is said that 2 is to 1 risk reward ratio is considered to be good where your reward is 2 and risk is 1 okay so that's how we can set a risk reward ratio for a long position you can also have it for a short position right you can also have few more interesting points here so let me just remove this fibonacci again i'll just press delete okay i'll also remove this <coughs> now again an interesting feature of the next point i'll just quickly show this to you again um bars pattern so if i want to analyze what had happened in the past and if i want to predict what can happen in the future okay this was a consolidation if you can see here so i'm trying to track this from here till this point okay so assume there was a consolidation then it's like more of an m pattern what can happen in the future okay for this now what i can do is that i'll just i'll just try and shift it here okay now what i do is i just lift this and place it here oh my god history is almost repeated itself right okay now if i see here this is what can happen in the future okay to what level it can go so i'm just squeezing it down it can go up to levels of 641 if history repeats itself amazing this is one of my favorite points which i hope you have understood which point did i use right now i've used the bars pattern okay uh, if you want you can always rewind this video play it again and again try and absorb this try and do this on your own as well right chalo moving on abhi itna seekh liya we have learned so much i'm sure you might have gotten a bit tired so you can also use certain symbols for time pass hey i love this put it here uh whatever if you have loved this crazy if you want want to send me some dollars you can or whatever this is time pass okay fair enough so let me remove these symbols now moving ahead if you want i can also measure something okay so for example if i were to measure for how much time okay let's say for how much time was this upward journey i just click here and i click here on the top okay so this took almost 75 bars okay and i'm just trying to reduce this this was an upside of 57% this happened so basically what is the ruler for ruler is to measure how much percentage was the upside how much bars did it take how much days did it take all these can be measured from the ruler okay i hope you have understood this ruler point as well moving ahead what is the next one next one is the magnifier so for example i just want to check what happened in these 4 to 5 days so what i do i select the magnifier and i just want to check for these 3 4 candles in depth in zoomed version this is what happened in these 3 4 days okay i hope you have understood this going ahead strong magnet weak magnet these are these two magnets so for example if i were to draw um mm, if i were to let's say join these two points okay let me just show you with an with the help of an example i have chosen the weak magnet right now and i'm saying alt t i'm drawing a trend line okay so this basically helps me to join the body of the candle very easily i don't have to have a lot of efforts or the wick as well okay it automatically catches it it has a magnetic power okay now this was the weak magnet now just check the strong magnet for example again i'm pressing alt t and if i press here i'm actually so i'm i'm up there or i'm it's, it's actually 
it's becoming difficult to even get it down because the magnet is so strong it will automatically take it near close to the body of the candle right so you can also try this you might not be able to understand this visually when you do this on your own your hand will feel that strong magnet while you are actually using the cursor right that's what happened in strong and weak magnet okay cholo moving on stain drawing tool what does this help so for example i want to draw trend lines every time i have to press alt t okay gone again i have to press alt t instead of that if i'm in the drawing mode i just keep on drawing lines next 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 i can just keep on drawing trend lines without any interruption that's how it works i can also lock all the drawing tools if i want i can hide all the drawing as well see gone in one second and as i told you the last part is that dustbin part if i want i can put everything in the dustbin Whew, i hope you have understood the left panel very nicely well let's start with the bottom panel now we are almost at the end we have done quite a bit about trading view my god it's fun uh, to go such in depth and know so much about a single website the most interesting feature of this website is the stock screener uh, you might say ma'am you always talk about screener.in but wait this has technical analysis related filters okay so what you can do now you can just hit filter okay now let's say you want to search for stocks wherein let us say rsi uh, let's say i'm talking about rsi is above let's say 60 okay and if i say that here you can automatically see one so already this filter has been applied all this is a list of stocks whose rsi is above 60 now if you want to check you can just go into the drop down go to oscillators just to cross check you know so you can just go to the right and here you can see all these that we have filtered every single stock which has come here rsi is above 60 yay such an amazing feature right so this is about stock screener uh, feature you can have so many features you can put for mecd you can put for bollinger band for uh, moving averages whatever okay chalo moving on if you want you can put some text notes whatever if you want but i never use this if you want you can use the pine editor as well but this is only important for those who can do a lot of coding frankly speaking i can't that's why i don't use the pine editor with this you can have your own strategies all right now i hope you have understood how you can use the pine editor right so moving on you can also go ahead with the strategy tester but i personally again don't use it i use always this button which i had already showed you which is about the bar replay okay so i use it with the bar replay not with the strategy tester in simple words this is used for back testing any strategy okay right moving on with the last one you can also have your own trading panel but again none of these are available in india uh, if you are outside india you can definitely avail of these facilities those who want you can also do a paper trading that is also feasible with this we are done with the bottom side panel uh, this is what is main part of the bottom side panel well we are on to the last part which is the main chart panel now what do you find in the main chart panel main chart panel talks about the name of the stock it talks about whether it's a day candle if i choose 15 minutes automatically it goes to 15 if i choose weekly then it shows one week okay it also shows whether it's nse or bse if you want uh, by the way this is what symbol color you have chosen if you remember in watch lists you can have multiple colors again this is available in the paid version only this is not available in the free version right uh, okay fair enough if you want you can hide this as well okay this is the i for hiding and hiding if you want you can also have this last three dots where you can again put an alert okay we have already talked about this okay so let's not again focus on this one very cute thing here is that you can see that dash this means that market is closed if you click here you'll say time for a walk market is closed okay when market is open it will show you how much time is there remaining then you can see open high low close we have talked about this as well okay so that's mainly a part of the left hand side whatever you can see within the chart right hand side you can see this is nothing but the price okay so currently here you can see today's candle here you can see it is 500 and whatever almost 518 uh, low point 520 whatever so this right hand side basically talks about what is the price if the market is open it also shows you how much time is remaining for the market to close if you are in like a 15 minutes candle and if you try to hover around here it will show you how much time is remaining for the closer closure of that particular candle okay that you can see and the right hand side of the chart now if you go to the bottom part of 
the chart screen here you can see uh, what is the time zone so if, if, for example if you are in usa you can change this time zone as well one more interesting feature at the bottom side is that alt g okay or click here so if you want to go to the historic day of 193-2020 you just type out 93-2020 press go and it will directly to take you to this candle the day which saw a very big topsy-turvy thing in the market okay so this basically helps you to switch to a specific date it becomes really easy okay i missed out one more small point if you want for example if you wanted rsi on the top and the chart at the bottom so you just have to click this move pane down now rsi is on the top chart is at the bottom again if you want you can say move pane down chart is on the top and this pane is at the bottom i hope you have understood this last part as well well i hope you have really enjoyed this in detail analysis of indoor trading view this was actually a beginner's version of indoor trading view if you are an advanced person again as i told you you can also have your own strategies you can have that pine editor and all that but for a beginner this is more than enough believe me i request you that you should watch this video at least two more times so that all these features that we talked about today it will fit into your mind Try to make more and more use of that. Do it practically side by side and you will have a good hands-on experience with TradingView. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Share this with as many friends of yours. Let them also get benefited with this video. And till then, take care. Jai Hind and 